Good morning you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to head to urgent care because last night I started feeling like really like weird, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like I had a weird feeling in my brain and then I was like really shaky and I was feeling just out of it. And then after a while I started to feel better but today I'm still kind of feeling shaky and just kind of weird so I'm gonna go to urgent care to get my glucose levels tested because I feel like I don't know, I might have like low blood sugar or high blood sugar or something like that. So I'm kind of concerned and I want to go get tested to make sure that I'm okay. So I'm going to get Briella dressed right now and then I'm going to head to urgent care because I don't want to leave her here because I'm exclusively breastfeeding and I don't want to have her here and maybe get hungry or me not knowing how long I'm going to be gone. So that's what her and I are going to do right now. My husband's moving his car and the door's open so I don't want Logan to like run outside or something so I'm waiting for him to go inside before I head out. Now I'm doing okay. They are sending me home. They did some blood work. My blood sugar looks normal. Um, everything else looks normal for now. So they did a complete cell blood count or something like that to check all of like how much blood I have in my body to make sure I'm not anemic and things like that. But they said right now everything looks fine and it's probably just really bad anxiety. So I need to try to like keep calm and when I start feeling a little shaky just drink some juice or something because she said since I'm breastfeeding like Briella takes all of my nutrients out of my body so I need to just take some deep breaths and then I should be okay. So I'm gonna head home right now and we're going to have a good day. Our house is a disaster right now though so we have a lot of cleaning to do. I'm feeling a lot better than I was so you know hopefully the day goes up from here. So I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> Logan, I got you something. Would you want to see it? Come here. Here, let me see my phone if you want the toy. Okay, ready? What do you think it is? Yeah. What did I get you? Oh, no. Do you like it? Yeah. This is all chalk. It's all chalk and we can draw on the ground. This is what I got him from Ross. It was only eight bucks. Marmots. Show them. Is that sky? Turn it around. And then look, Logan. How do you do this? Oh, the orange one's going away. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Be careful. You're welcome. I'm no. running away. It's running away? This one. This one. Again. The elephant, the elephant. 
Yeah. You're gonna color on Lightning McQueen? <laughs> what are you doing, huh? She's like, no. She's hanging out, she's loving it. Hi, Briella. Surprised she's not crying. Hi, baby girl. She's getting so big. I know. Hi, you guys. I know I really haven't talked much in this video, so I just wanted to kind of sit down and walk you guys through our weekend because this is already two parts. So yesterday was Saturday. We went to my mom's house. She lives an hour and a half away, and we kind of just went to visit. Uh, Sam helped my dad do some concrete in the backyard and I was just hanging out with my mom letting her visit the kids and things like that and towards the end of the night uh, I ate cheesecake and we were about to head out and after I ate that cheesecake is when I started feeling kind of off I can't really explain it really well because I honestly don't even understand what I feel but basically after I ate the cheesecake I kind of feel it I kind of started feeling shaky and then after I started feeling shaky I thought it was just anxiety because we were about to head home which I don't really like being in the car and being on the freeway and things like that especially at night but after that I kind of started getting a weird feeling in my brain and when I say that I don't really know what I mean but it kind of just feels like you're going to like faint or something like that like when we were on the freeway the cars passing by when they would like cross us really fast um it feels like it would affect my vision and things like that so i'd kind of have to like put my head down and like cover my eyes but that's happened before and it's happened multiple times since i had briella so that's why i went to the doctor today because i was kind of concerned about that and it comes down to they checked my glucose levels which is like the sugar so to check if i had low blood sugar or high blood sugar and my sugars were in the normal range and i kind of only freaked out about my sugar because my grandma passed away a few weeks ago before i had briella like three days before i had her and she died from her diabetes so i was kind of being um over dramatic kind of like i just overthink a lot of things so when something happens to somebody else and they had like symptoms of it I have anxiety to the point where I think I have it and then I start to like overreact about it and I think about it until I get checked out and until I'm told by a doctor that nothing is wrong with me and that's been happening throughout my entire life but recently it's just been like that brain thing and I think it's when I start to think about it my brain like starts to act weird you know like cuz I don't know what I'm saying or how I'm feeling but they basically just ran some tests on me I'm going to read off like what the tests were um, so they pricked my finger and that was the the glucose and then I did a CBC I think it's called hold on let me type my password So I got a complete cell blood count, which is um, just like the white blood cells, the red blood cells, the hemoglobin, and like a bunch of other things, but I'm only saying the ones that sound familiar to other people. So the plate link count, and then those were all normal, and then the basic metabolic panel. Everything was in its normal range, which like is like the sodium, potassium, glucose everything everything was normal so when I first got there like my heart rate was elevated and I obviously it's because I was like overthinking you know and I was shaky and then I asked for an orange juice and then it brought me back to like a normal feeling but the doctor basically just told me your body is still going back to normal from you giving birth a few weeks ago and you should probably just relaxed because he could tell that I have anxiety and he was just telling me to relax and take deep breaths and when I feel that way to just go in the kitchen and eat something it, because it probably is my blood sugar going low since I am breastfeeding and Briella does take a lot of my nutrients out of my body and I know I haven't been eating well because I just don't eat enough throughout the day I just 
forget to eat and I don't really have an appetite so I just need to work on myself so today I've been eating a lot of snacks every time I feel hungry or every time I breastfeed I come in here and I eat something just so I can get back into the habit of eating all day because that is what my body needs I weigh 124 pounds right now and I wanted to stay at 130 so I need to try to just like gain some weight I don't really know why I'm not able to maintain my weight like seriously I know it's because of breastfeeding it takes a lot of calories out of your body but I don't know but anyways um after i got back from the doctor sam and i cleaned up the house a little bit he had cleaned the kitchen while i was gone and i picked up the living room in our room and we headed out from there we went to the park with logan and we let him play for a little while and then we went i went into ross and i got him that paw patrol chalk thing and then we went to walmart and went grocery shopping and when we came back we kind of just hung out, Sam worked out, and then I was just hanging out with the kids. Um, we are trying something new tonight. We actually put Logan down a lot earlier than us. He usually doesn't go to sleep till after us, and right now it is 9.30, so usually we get in bed probably by 10.15, and then he'll stay up till midnight by himself watching a movie. So tonight we said no movie, no TV. We put him on our bed, we put the sound machine on, and he fell asleep within 30 minutes. So I'm really proud of him, and after a few weeks of him going to bed at a decent time we're going to transition him to sleeping in his own bed i feel like we have to start somewhere small or else it's going to be too much on him like i don't want him to be scared or anything like that so that's why we're starting with letting him go to sleep on his own by himself so that he can get used to not everybody being in the room with him you know so that's what's going on tonight brielle is out here with us sam is holding her he's on his phone Victor falls asleep no problem as long as he's fed he'll go to bed at the right time but that is going to be the end of today's video so I'm sorry if it was kind of off and weird I was off and weird so it's kind of hard for me to film properly but that is the end of it so I hope to see you all in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye guys